This is how tequila works. Just saying. Okay, now on to real stuff. Venezuela, it's a mess. The ongoing food shortage there has caused the average citizen I can't make this stuff up. I mean, I think in Canada and all these other countries that are going so far to the left, they're socialist goofs, right? And I guess this is maybe what they're trying to accomplish. Could this be their end game? The uh, food shortage there has caused the average citizen to lose 24 pounds. 24 pounds, seriously. You know, lots of oil wealth, lots of socialism, lots of starving, lots of stupid. I mean, that's going on everywhere. Socialism doesn't work. It's been tried so many times, so many places for so many years. And guys like the prime mistake in Canada, he just keeps on trying. I mean, on all these liberal goofs, they say, it'll work for us because we're smarter. But they're the guys not losing weight, <laughs> right? It's the other people in these countries. Women and men should be something else. <laughs> How am I doing with that? Seriously, they should be called something else if they're gay. We're all called the same thing. And, and many years ago, back in the early 70s, I actually met a guy at a trade show and his name was a Man Woman. He legally had it changed to Man Woman. I should Google him one day and see if he's still around. He'd be long gone now because he was kind of old then and that was the hippie day. And, and, and I don't know if he was gay, straight, I mean, I don't know that. I mean, the name just kind of, he looked kind of masculine actually, but it was Man Woman. And that was his legal name and it was on his driver's license because I asked him about it and he showed me. So I'm kind of thinking that when you're gay, you should have a name like that. Don't call yourself a man who, hey, politically, how does that sound? Is that correct or not? I don't know. I just want you to give some thought to that. Unions. I talked to a fellow the other day. He's a happy guy. He said, I went to a union meeting and they are all mad. They all have grievances. And he says, I was quite taken back. He says, I don't want to belong to the union. I just have a very good job and you have to belong to the union because that's the rule, right? You know, you don't have any sense left and they kind of beat you up all the time and you go into the room and they're against the company that pays for them. And he said, and I stood up. This is him talking. He said, I stood up and I said to people, we can't be like this. They're our friends, the management. I mean, they pay us. He said, I have a mortgage. I have a wife. I have a cat. Come on. And they said, no, no, no. You got to have a grievance to be here. That's not nice. That's just not very nice at all. Unions, I think, had their place a zillion years ago. They don't now. A strong association, maybe, kind of, sort of, but you shouldn't try to poke your employer with a stick. And that's what these people do. Tetro explosives. Have you ever heard of that? I had not. My wife and I recently were in the airport in Kelowna, British Columbia, and we were flying for the weekend to Victoria. We went and watched my our one son play, do the half Ironman. It was kind of an interesting trip, but that's another story. So we're going through the airport early in the morning in Kelowna, and, and they know me. I travel through there a lot, okay? <laughs> and, and my wife, they, they gave her the test on the hands, and she tested bad and, and they, she kind of got swarmed with all these people and I said, what's going on? The guy whispered to me and he says, she's been tested for that explosive. I said, explosive? She said, yeah, explosive. My wife, <laughs> what's going on here? What happened to her? She's turned on me, this girl. She's going to take me down with the entire airport. Anyway, so they had her fill out this questionnaire and, and then they turned her loose and her and I were walking away and I, I came back to them. I said, that's it? That's all you got? Somebody tests positive and you let them go if they fill out a form? What she, what, you know, maybe she's madder at me than I think. She's going to blow up the airplane. And he said, oh no, sometimes it's in the air. I said, really? And so and you don't know this stuff? I mean, this is pretty bad. And, and we talked about it and he kind of dismissed me. Would you please go? I got other people to deal with here. Get on the stupid airplane and leave town. And, and, and I just wanted to share that with you. If you're going to have a machine in an airport and you find out that somebody tested for explosives, maybe don't let them get on the plane. I'm glad that they did because she ain't a terrorist. See ya.